two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Hmm. Acuto, fantasioso, originale. Così si presenta il teaser diretto dal regista Nicolò Bassetto e orchestrato nella creatività da Matteo Cibice e Maria Galliano. 30 secondi per catturare l'attenzione del mondo dell'arte e del design su Delvis Unlimited, il brand che ha recentemente aperto il suo primo flagship store in Europa e che ha reclutato per i 10 giorni più effervescenti di Milano, tra arte e design, Robert Jannitz, rappresentato da König Galerie, una vera referenza nell'arte contemporanea. L'idea di Stefano Del Vecchio, CEO di Delvis, un'azienda da 40 anni nell'arredo da celebrare proprio nel 2024, è quella di creare uno spin-off creativo e originale, Unlimited appunto, dove ogni pezzo ha una sua vita, una sua storia, un designer e un artista, come Slop, il divano realizzato da Andrea Steild e rivestito dalla grafica della serie Love is a Typo di Robert Yannitz, con la quale Robert si è contraddistinto in tutto il mondo. Al debutto della Design Week 2024 abbiamo incontrato Robert Yannitz proprio su Slope. Hi Robert, Robert Yannitz, thank you very much for coming here. Robert is the protagonist for this sort of performance with Dalvis Unlimited. Love is a typo, that's the series that we were able to see. Do you want to explain uh, why love is a uh, typo and for you love is uh, properly a typo? Um, I, I'm happily married. Ah, well, I okay. Think in, Good. In <laughs> Congratulations, at least one. <laughs> But maybe it's a lie too. Um, I thought, you know, we live in a time where everything is very fast and um, everything is n not committed. You know, you can change from one minute to the next and now you love somebody and the next moment you don't and you don't hide also um, a feeling that you don't love anybody uh, anymore or you ghost the person you know you just disappear and so then i found maybe with a sense of humor that this would be actually a very mean thing to say to somebody okay you know that you were typing and then you say sorry ah, okay. love it's is a, a typo, typo. Perfect. <laughs> you know it's a spelling mistake okay. I, it's a I didn't mistake. mean to say I love you right right and uh, so when do you get married when exactly you get married um, 12 years ago 12. in New York in New York mm -hmm. and your uh, wife is uh, German as well as you or it's a uh, This is um, up to my fantasy at this point, right? Ah, I see. Ah, okay. Perfect. <laughs> She could be German. Uh, okay. She could be Italian. Oh, <laughs> we don't know. So, what is your uh, favorite uh, uh, work? I think the favorite is the one with the gradient and the pink. Oh, okay, um, the gray and the pink over there. This one, ah, yes. Okay. Do you yes. want to tell us the story about uh, this work? Um, I think of the, those, um, I think of them as intelligent um, beings, especially, you know, the yellow stuff that is hanging, let's say, on the painting. Mm -hmm. uh, I got um, inspired by spending time in Los Angeles and I was reading about, you know, the crazy history of Los Angeles, scientific research, and there was this theory, um, this could be actually a lifelike entity and it happens to hang on this painting. I see. So okay. I guess I'm trying to find a way to not be the artist myself. Okay. Somebody else is the artist. Okay, okay, good. You know, that's a good inspiration uh, to Maybe look that's at. why the title also worked because 
Is it a sense of humor? Maybe not. Maybe it's real. Maybe there is love. Maybe there so isn't. So different feeling, a so different approach. Exactly. It's um, I'm taking myself out of the equation. Super, super. <laughs> Talking about the city. So it's it's not your first time in Milan, or probably. What do you think about the the city? What do you think about the art week? Uh, mix and match with the design week as well as uh, this project uh. I think now I used to hear only like ah, Milan is so bourgeois mm. um, but I realized over the last few years Milan has become a hot destination wow hot destination good uh, good to know I think because it is so good with style and I think the whole aesthetic world moves into brands mm -hmm. more and more. I, I spent okay. time in Dubai. If you don't have a brand on, you're nobody. Okay, okay. So and I, you think that it's uh, the same in uh, Milano, that you need like a logo to Milano show up just, in order to be Milano someone? Milano invented all the logos, so, okay. so they don't so need we don't to need show Look, we, we are without a logo, so that's exactly, why. Exactly, but if you have like a Fendi thing, okay. that's good in Dubai or, you okay. know. Okay, okay. So, so I, I think Milan is becoming really the source of so many... Okay, uh, so we create the logos exactly. and then we export exactly. the logo. It's like a big success story of export. Okay. And what do you think uh, about uh, this this uh, project? I mean, I like the idea between uh, uh, art and design. There'll be some limited uh, that decide to be on air during uh, uh, the design week with you. That makes a lot of sense because mm. the shapes, colors, uh, all mix and match together. What do you think about this kind of new, new, new deal, a new way it makes to be? Sense. You know, I, I think it makes sense because the boundaries between the disciplines are, you know. So there is coming. no boundaries, exactly. right? Okay. What used to be high art, um, maybe. I mean, I think there was always like from the street to the museum, there was always a connection. But I think design is like. A, now becomes like an, the obvious meeting point of all. Okay, you know, so fashion design, fashion this is where art and life meet. So very good. And so welcome in Milano and have a fun. Grazie qui per Thank noi, you. Robert Yannitz per Umar.